In this video, I will be creating this envelope journal or envelope concertina out of two envelopes and the newsprint that I lie on my desk or workbench to catch the off fall of paint from my gel press. I utilize it to clean my brayer and it just is that piece of paper that I lay down to protect my workbench while I'm working. So it's a great way to use that. And I will also be creating some new gel press prints to utilize in this project. My name is Peg. I call my channel 2L Crows Mix Media. I hope you find my content valuable enough to hit that subscribe button. And of course, that notification bell will let you know when I upload additional content. So let's get started on this journal. This is the piece of newsprint that has been lying on my desk to to just mop up any leftover paper. So what I am, or paint, what I am doing is measuring the width of that envelope and just starting the tear on that paper with my ruler. And I'm folding it into a little concertina and we will have an envelope on each side. So you can see how that just folds into an accordion fold. And the envelopes I am going to go ahead and seal shut and then I will utilize my um, X-Acto knife and just cut a very thin line down the edge. You can see I'm just barely barely have any paper to cut there and that will create the envelope. So there will be an envelope at the front of this journal or accordion fold and at the back of this accordion fold. Now one of the things I want to do is tuck some paper down inside this envelope. So when you open it to release what is inside it, you're not seeing all that white. So I'm just laying some of this newsprint inside the envelope, gluing that down and folding it over. So it is actually covering all that white at the top of the envelope. And I'm using some art glitter glue to do this. And rather than trim it, I'm just folding it over. And there, now that, that makes that a nice inside look. And now I'm just putting the glue down to adhere it to the accordion fold that we have of the paper in the the of that newsprint and what I have left over I'm just going to tuck over the edge and I do apologize for the smudge on my camera lens I didn't realize it was there and I am just going to have to live with it because I you know I unless we completely remake this this over so now I'm going to pull my gel press out and I want to create some additional newsprint to collage on this width. So I'm just ripping it off in appropriate width. And what I have left over, I'm just utilizing the small sizes as well. To create the color, I will be using cloud gray, burnt umber, and an off-white on the gel press and to create the texture or interest on the gel press I will be using stencils the impressions from the impression dyes from Carabella and just household items like jar lids onion bag container um, credit cards etc and I'm going to put a little music on and we will get all of these sheets with color and I shall be back.
this is where we've landed. These are the prints that we have been able to create from utilizing three colors on the newsprint. And I think that we have some interest here and some interesting designs that are going to look great on this envelope journal. The one thing that I really am, am falling in love with is the little thread spool that I used. I don't know if you noticed that that's what I was using, but it has really created some great texture or a great look with these colors on this newsprint. So now that we have all of that ready, I just want to get ready and begin to collage this book. And that is, you know, simply what we will do on each of these sections of this accordion fold is we will collage, utilize these sheets that we just created to collage on each and every one of the sections of this concertina. And I'm just placing it and playing with it and, and moving things around until it's appealing to me. And I kind of have this where I think that I like it. And so I shall now glue it down. And that ruler that I just used is a deckle edge ruler. Um, I just purchased that and I'm really enjoying it. I'm thinking that's a little a little too stark there, so I'm going to pull in a stamp, and I just have this random script stamp, and I am utilizing a black ink and just stamping that random script here and there across that front page, but I'm covering that um, bottom uh, spot that didn't have a lot of color with that script stamp. And now I have one little spot there that was, was a little bare, I felt. So I'm pulling in some coffee stained cheesecloth and a button. And I am just going to put this uh, thread, it's embroidery thread, through this button and I'll tie it off. So it looks like the button has actually been sewn, but it has not. I'm going to glue it on with my art glitter glue. And there, and that is just the simple collage method. And I'm going to do that on each one of these pages. So I'm going to utilize the sheets that we have created and I will be collaging on each section. So that is the front cover pretty much complete. And I'm going to ink around this uh, second envelope so we don't have the white showing anywhere. And I'll also do the same thing that I did on the front envelope. I will stick some of that newsprint down inside so the inside of that back envelope is covered as well. But I want to, you know, kind of get some ink on this. And we'll just continue to collage. So we'll go ahead and collage this back one and get it uh, glued on. And I'm just putting some, some paper that, you know, when I tore that, that newsprint, I was not careful uh, intentionally in tearing it in a 
um, very measured piece. So it kind of tapered off at the end. So I am gluing around the edges of this envelope. So when I put that smaller end of this concertina or accordion fold onto this end envelope, that there is color around the outside edge of it. I hope that made sense. And now I want to go back in and add some black. We've collaged everything. I've gone ahead and collaged off camera. Um, I think that, that that's pretty self-explanatory. So I have my small little circular gel press here and I'm just brayering on a thin layer of black and putting some interest in it. I want to try it first on my my sheet and I'm happy with the way that looks, but I don't like the complete circular um, definition, so I'm not going to get it end to end anymore. And we'll just put some uh, impressions in there with the random uh, lids and and my little thread um, pool. And we will take that gel press into the book and just lay some different focal points of black, or I'm not necessarily going to call them focal points, but just little points of interest with that black ink or black uh, paint on the inside of, of this. And I'm going to do that on both sides. I'm liking the way that looks. I, I like that, that black. And this um, is the giveaway for my Facebook group. Um, this envelope journal is, is what I am creating to give away when we hit 50 members in my, my newly created Facebook group. So it has been, the drawing has been done and, and it will be shipping out as soon as I receive the address. So now I'm just adding some additional cheesecloth. Um, I had doodled uh, down that one little uh, just print piece of newsprint, and I, I didn't like the way that looked, so I'm just going to cover it up with, with a bit of cheesecloth, and, and we have the black coming over the top of that. I'm coming back in with my stabilo and just providing some definition on some of the outside edges of this uh, collage pieces. And again, just going over the entire project to make sure everything is, is glued and secured. And I went to add some additional uh, script print with the stamp in various places throughout. And we're getting getting close to getting done. I've collaged a couple of, of, of places, but I want to uh, stop for a minute and, and create a few um, altered paper clips to hang from, from this. And this is just a simple little skirt that goes onto the paper clip. It's just a fold over. So I'm just folding it around the outside edge of that paper clip. I'll glue it into place and then I will tuck the paper clip through the little um, hole that we've created or through the little opening that we have created. And a charm will go in that paper clip a bit later to um, hold that little skirt in place. Now I'm measuring the inside of this back pocket and front pocket and getting the dimensions. One of them um, I wound up gluing, I guess, the bottom of it together a, a little tighter so they're different in depth. 
So I've uh, cut two pieces of file folder and I am just going to cover it with some of the paper that we have created on one side and coffee stain paper on the other just to create a journaling card to tuck down inside each of those pockets. And this one, I incorporated the file folder tab, and I am just going to cut around that and keep that in intact. This cloud gray that I've used here, to me it looks blue, but it is becoming one of my favorite colors. I love, I love how this has such a subtle look to it. And I am very, what's the word I'm looking for? I just, I really like the way it pairs with the browns, the burnt siennas, the raw, or the burnt umbers and the raw siennas and, and those colors. It looks great with them. And I'm just coffee stained paper on the back and I'm not being particular about having a full piece. I'm using what I have and we'll just strip it on there. And now where that paper was ripped just a little bit, where that coffee stain paper was ripped just a little bit, I'm just going to go over the top of that with some of this printed newsprint that we have created. Inking around with the vintage photo. And I'm going to come back in with my uh, alphabet stamps and just stamp note here. And I'm not trying to get it lined up. I'm, I just want it to be very random. And some cheesecloth at the top, because I think that will look nice coming out of that pocket. It will just kind of tie it all together. And then I'm going to cut just a little strip of that um, paper to just secure that cheesecloth on me. And I think this makes it a real nice little journaling card to stick down in that pocket. And we'll do the other one pretty much identically. See, and that cheesecloth sticks through. And there's the second one. You can see we have everything collaged at this particular point. And going back with it just a, a bit more of the black in different places. Again, with that little small gel press. That's kind of finishing it, finishing it off a bit. Let's clean my brayer.
And now I am just measuring because I want to create just another little journaling spot on here. And I wanted to make sure that I did not get it too wide. So I am cutting um, some coffee stained paper and I'm going to just bind in some sheets to create just an additional little journaling space. And I'm just going to thread up a, a needle with embroidery thread. And I'm not going to punch the holes. I'm going to just poke my needle through. And we are going to just freeform this in. So I'm going to measure three lengths of embroidery thread, or my embroidery thread to be three lengths the height or three times the height of this um, little signature. And we'll get it centered and clip it down with these little binder clips so it will stay in place. And I'm just going to measure to the center of the signature and punch my needle right through. And we're going to go through and then up through the top. So we'll come back through the top and then back down through the center and up through the bottom. And then we will tie that off right there in the center. And I'm going to put two signatures in this accordion fold. So there will be a signature on each side. And I'm just going to square knot that off right over left and left over right. And then one more for good measure. Put a dab of glue over that knot. And I'm going to leave this a little longer for right now. I thought about maybe putting a little charm down at the bottom, but at this particular point, I haven't decided if I want to do that or not. And now, uh, a second journaling type is a waterfall, little waterfall note card. And with that waterfall note card, you know, I've essentially just um, cut about um, the width, two or three sheets of paper, and then pulled that off and laid it on top of each other and then uh, stapled it at the top and then tore the pages um, with the bottom one being the longest and then each one moving up being slightly different. And now I want to create just this little tuck spot for the front cover. We'll just do a little tying triangular tuck. I'm covering that with, with some of the same same paper. And we'll glue that on three sides. And then I'm going to create a little tag to go inside that. And I'm going to use just file folder to create that tag. And I have covered that tag with the same paper. And now I'm just going to sew a button on. And I mean literally sew it on. <laughs> And I'm just going to make sure I have a good knot tied in that too. And 
And there. That completes that little tag. And now I'm going to put the charms on the little paper clips that we skirted earlier. And we'll stick those onto the page. So in this, this small concertina, you're getting two signatures, a waterfall notepad, three altered paper clips to hold d different things, a tag, two journaling cards. So there's a ton of journaling space in this uh, small little journal. It's a great, great little thing to tuck in your purse and you know, keep random notes. It'd be a great little travel trip journal. So there's the little note card in the front pocket. You open it up and you have the little puck spot with the tag and the waterfall journal on that first fold with a little altered paper clip, the signature, the second little note card. And you flip it over and open it up and you have the second signature and the second note card. So that creates quite, quite a bit of journaling space, don't you think? There's one side, flip it over, and there is the other side. And to finish it off, I'm just going to strip off a piece of cheesecloth, coffee stained, and wrap this up in a little cheesecloth bow. And there you have the finished accordion fold concertina journal. So I think it turned out, out pretty nice, and I'm certainly hopeful that the individual that won it loves it. Again, my name is Peg, and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mix Media. Please hit that subscribe button, like and share the video, and the notification bell will let you know when I upload additional content. So I'm hopeful that you will hop over to Facebook and join me on my Facebook group. I would love to have you there as we enter into 2021 with some weekly prompts. So please come join us. And I have placed a link to the group in the description. So stop on by. Bye for now.